that you know the situation, so none of this would have happened. Almost didn't even get the car back. I never said you were telling me a lie. Okay. Let me know, bro. It's like, you made it uncomfortable for me and my family to live here. I called the police on you, bro. And, um, You're alive. I'm about to, um, I'm, I'm just letting you know. Like, I'm about to put a restraining order on you, bro, so you don't come close to me and my family because I'm feeling unsafe. You feel me? I'm sorry you feel that way. You feel me? So, and once I get in contact with Diego or whatever his name is, I let him know too. You feel me? I already called the police and did all that stuff, but fill out a report and everything. You feel me? But see, you're you're going all crazy and I'm just doing my job. Bro, I'm a security and guard just like you. You're not doing your job. You're not, you're not a security guard just like me, though. Because no, no, this, this, like this is only a part. This is only a part-time job for me. It's okay, it's I make okay. a lot more money doing my other job. I've been doing this for a long time, my guy. A long time. I've been playing football this for seven years. So then you know, you know it's just a job, man. Yes, but bro, I tried to approach you nicely and tell you what who I am, and you took it left field, bro. You got my brother's clothes to car coat, and we, we almost didn't get it back because. You just sent off the, because I was trying to explain to you my situation and everything, and you just um, did the, the registration, so it didn't come in the mail yet because of COVID-19. So when we got there, there was no registration to get the car. Dude, we had to look for the title. You know when we found it? Seven in the morning. When you saw me out there, I just got home from work. You made me not go to sleep until seven in the morning. Then I had to be back to work at 2 p.m. I work 20 hour days, trust but, me. But I chose not to do that. I didn't want to be up, bro. You know what I mean? And you made it uncomfortable for me and my family. And it, the, 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 the first... This the, morning, I went to talk to the lady about you in the office. The first time we spoke, here, the, the first time we spoke, how many times did I try to explain the rules to you? And you what? told, and you, gonna, and you cut me off, and you cut me off and you said, I know the rules, yeah. I know the rules. Yes. And, and I, you didn't, because you were still breaking them. What rules did I break? You didn't have a decal on your car. Okay, okay. Who, who, whoever didn't have okay, a decal. So, okay, pause for a second. That had no, whatever happened after that had nothing to do with it. You understand? If you had listened to my situation, just like Diego, just like the lady in the office, just like the decal, like if you had listened to my situation, you would have. You, you're, you're. Just like the black guy, I don't know their name to call their name, because when they see this car, they, they know and they come and get me. You're the only you're, one you're, you didn't listen to me. You're the only one that's doing this to me because you and, didn't know my situation because you didn't want to hear me out. And I was all. and I was trying to tell you that time, but you kept and, on and cutting you, me off. You your rules? your you life kept trying to tell me about rules that your, I was telling you that I know about. Yes, your life situation doesn't matter to me. What is in black and white on the list okay, so matters now, to me. So now, okay, my life situation had something to do with you guys' rules. But so that, now, that's between you and management, okay, not you and security. Okay, so, I, so I didn't know what to do. So I came to Diego, and Diego explained everything to me. Like I tried to do that one time, but you no, kept on cutting no, me off. No, that has nothing to Listen, do with you're, you're, you're putting a restraining order on me. I don't want to scare you anymore. So you go ahead and have a good night, all right? I don't, I don't want to make you nervous. I don't know why you're laughing. I don't know why you're laughing. You're saying I make you nervous. That's why you have to get a restraining order on me. You're, you're a big tough guy that works security, but you have to get a restraining order on me that's doing my job. All right, you have a good night, sir. I'm targeting you. Because I typed your... Because I don't tell anyone else but you. Uh, th there you go with the language again, with with the racial slurs. No, no one said anything about race. Listen, no one said anything about race. I'm threatening you, man. What are you talking about? Call the police, then. Call me if you feel threatened right now. Call the police. All right. All right. You have a good night, sir. <laughs>
Oh, God. Oh, man.